guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is normally Whiny Wednesday Live Day. However, that is not happening because we are still scrapbooking, standing up at the kitchen counter. So hopefully next week I will have things set up enough where we can get back to Whiny Wednesday Live. But it is still 30 days of sketches from Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. And this is the sketch for today. It is a double sketch. I'm going to completely ignore that left-hand side and just use the right-hand side. Now I do have two photos. This is of a tree that I thought was super cool. And I am using mostly gingham foundry from my mind's eye. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I'm starting out with this yellow piece of paper and it's from Jelly Bean Soup. And then I'm gonna layer up this blue piece of paper, which is also going back a ways. It is Chatterbox. So now that I've got the basic bit of the layout done, now I'm gonna add some more layers and then get into the fun stuff. Now, Fun fact, even though I am scrapbooking on the kitchen counter, uh, most of the scrapbooking stuff is in the other room, so I do go back and forth to get some things. Um, I was flipping through the paper pad, which you couldn't see, but I do have that six by eight paper pad. It's just trying to figure out what would be a good paper to bridge between the blue and the yellow. And I ended up going with that cream and kind of leafy flowery type paper. Now I do have a little bit of this blue paper left, so I'm gonna put it up here at the top. Now in the sketch, it does call for uh, these top parts to basically be across the entire top of the page, but I did not want to do that because again, I am only using the right-hand side of the sketch. I brought in this deeper yellow paper and I'm gonna place that down on these layers that I'm using. They aren't gonna be exactly matching to what is depicted in the sketch, but you guys, that is the beautiful thing about a sketch. You can do whatever the heck you wanna do with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this piece of paper down and uh, press it down onto the layout. And then I've got my tree photos. One is of the tree at a distance and one is close up. I really did think that tree was really awesome uh, over there at the Las Positas Vineyard. I think I was more impressed with the tree than anything else. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to overlap some washi tape to give me a little bit more of a horizontal element on this layout. And then I'm also going to place some of the washi tape up here on the top layer. I did rip down the washi tape so that it was a little bit thinner and that way my uh, chipboard piece would be able to overlap nicely. So I'm going to pop some fun foam on the back of these photos and that is going to give me a little bit of lift because I am going to use some tool. Now I've talked about tool many times before. It is a cheap, easy way to add texture to your layouts without adding weight or a heck of a lot of bulk. So I'm always a fan of tools. So in this instance, I am going to go ahead and trim off the edge of the tool um, so that it goes all the way over to the edge of the paper. Now in the sketch, there is some decorative bits right over here in this corner. So of course I need to add some decorative bits as well. Um, I also have the gingham foundry uh, chipboard pieces and that's what I'm working with here. So I've got uh, the floral bits and then I'm going to add on that chipboard banner. And now this is where the layout is essentially done based upon the sketch, but this is where I want to have fun and decorate and do all the things. So I've had these Jolie's stickers in my stash forever. And I do mean forever. And <laughs> I was thinking about Jolie's the other day and how there used to be at least a full aisle in the craft stores of Jolie's boutique stickers and fun things. And I'm just like, man, where did those little suckers go? And they were labeled with letters. 
Um, and the, the farther along in the alphabet the letters went, the higher price they were. Uh, so I do have these florals that will go onto the layout as well. Now I am gonna add some metal rimmed tags up here in the upper left-hand corner. That, of course, is not on the sketch, but I felt like I needed a little bit more decoration. So since I'm using half of a sketch, I felt like some of the decorative bits that were on the left-hand side of the sketch, you know, you're missing that extra bit of oomph. So had to add in the extra bit of oomph. And of course, I am oomphing with my hot glue gun. Man, I love a hot glue gun. So I am going to uh, place these little flowers around the layout. I'm gonna just add a little bit of decorativeness to everything. I decided to keep the stems and the bow on the flowers that went on the top portion of the layout. Um, the other ones I ripped off because it was much easier to tuck them underneath of the chipboard right here. And then I really did like this flare so I figure out a way to add that in, and then I struggle with the gap that is left once I add it in. I end up fixing that though, so it all works out in the end, and I'm super happy with the layout by the time I finished with it. Now, I wanted to put this little metal uh, disc underneath of this top part right here. Uh, however, it was giving me too much of a lumpy bumpy feeling. So I went ahead and ripped off some of the layers of chipboard from right under there. And then that way I could place that chipboard back on top of that metal uh, round piece and it wasn't kind of leaning up or, or giving me any kind of weird lumpy bumpiness right there. So this is me messing around, playing around, trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do uh, to this piece down here. I end up ripping it up, putting it down, and ripping it up again. Um, I Ultimately, it all of that glue ends up getting covered. Now, I was thinking about bringing in some brads, but the colors that I have on my brads don't exactly match. I did like that kind of gray-blue uh, faux brad, where it doesn't have brad tines, it just sticks onto the layout. Um, however, it just ended up being that one that I liked off of what I have left of Brad's. So that poor little guy did not make it on the layout. But as you can see, I ended up using the other side of that chipboard banner that I uh, trimmed down. I just took some of the chipboard layers down uh, just a little tiny bit, overlapped that Harmony metal piece, and then I finally finished with this layout. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out the playlist uh, to see all the videos for 30 Days of Sketches. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.